Okay, continue. The former menu here, holding your mouse to open the menu, will reach to the shear. This is shear. As you can see, this is an arrow. It's uh, make a slope or shear to the object that you want. For example, I insert a <clears throat> cylinder here. As I said before, you have to increase its subdivision to deformer better execute uh, to better act and uh, select the object a better way to assigning the <clears throat> deformer a purple command as I said before it's holding shift holding shift and click before that you have to select the desired object the software do some work for, with us fit to object as you can see if you insert a shear in a regular way this is a, something like this is a box it's automatically uh, assign the object it's going to the child of the object and after that it's fit to it fit to parent and if you are in the model mode you can click and drag this handle to shear it <clears throat> here it's in the strings you can uh, change the strings uh, more than 100 you can click and drag here or negative numbers you can shear it you can change the angle here and the curvature as you can see this is a curve you can make it more curve or the linear curve if you go in a linear curve we have in a fillet a fillet uh, add a fillet at the bot bottom on the top of the shear this is shear i want to explain the mode for explain that I delete the shear and insert the shear in a uh, <clears throat> another way. We uh, don't hold shift, just insert the shear. You can change the shear, uh, sc scale it down. As you can see, shear just um, execute it in this box. Uh, within this box and we click and drag and make a shear child of the cylinder or the object that you want <coughs> going to its settings and change the strings as you can see if we are in a limit mode the shear will be acts from this button to the top okay it does not uh, execute it does not affect affect the object at the bottom of it it's uh, shear the object from here to the top as you can see you can change the shear like this it's limited if you active within box as you can see just do the shear within its box within its box that it is if you active unlimited the shear uh, makes the object shear at the top on the bottom the both side the command will be changed the object in the both direction to limit it it's just the up direction as you can see the shear has an arrow here this is uh, the head of the deformer if you go into the unlimited and activated fillet we have not unlimited mode again because the fillet change the bottom and the top top and the bottom of the uh, shear to the fillet and it's the unlimited comment does not aff affect for affecting unlimited you have to turn off the fillet to see that effect you can change the curvature to the linear or more carriage okay this is shear I want to give an another example uh, if you for example we have an ex extrude here we have an object that has an hierarchy for example if you hold select object and you want to assign the shear to that you have to hold shift you can do like that it automatically fit to object and go to the 
access of the object and you can share it. But it's very confusing that uh, we have a two-child object with this comment and this curve. Click and drag, release it from the extrude. For better doing the shear, first uh, you have to hold shift and uh, make the child of the shear because it's a better way it's fit to object and go to the position of the object and then you can release it them and make a null object the uh, another benefit of the uh, null object is that uh, it's <clears throat> you can assign the bend deformer uh, under the null object with the object for example i want to assign the this bend deformer to the that object you can click and drag and select both of them and make the both of them child of the null. And in this way, the deformer will be affect or affect the extrude. And as you can see, and it is better understanding this hierarchy and you uh, don't confuse it in that way. And if you, for example, just simply insert a shear as you can see it's insert in the center of the software you have to bring it an object and going to bring the shear under the null after that this assigned to the extrude and then fit to object oh as you can see it does not act like this okay so the better way was that you have to select the object holding shift let the software do everything for you release it close the hierarchy and make it like this it's not different it is up or down the hierarchy here is not important just they have to be in a side of us a side of each other beside of each other it's not matter if they are up or down hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release